Hi, I'm Tim, and this is the Georgia Workshop. If you've been following my channel at all on Instagram, then you may have noticed that we've been doing a workshop overhaul recently. Uh, we started out by building out this wall, adding in our wall control system, installing cabinets, um, and the most recent upgrade was the power. I installed multiple circuits right along this wall here. Um, main reason I wanted to do that was to increase the power of my table saw. For years I've been dealing with bogged down issues where the saw just didn't have enough power. It was running on a single um, 120 volt 15 amp circuit. I couldn't use it in a dust collector on the same, at the same time. It would bog down and pop the breaker and so on. So I decided that while I was going to run the power, I might as well put it on a dedicated 240 volt circuit to make sure that I don't run into those issues again. go ahead and take apart my rigid table saw. I'm going to show you how I, how I go about rewiring it and we'll um, talk a little bit when it's done. All right, so it's a little hard to see. I'm gonna to try to show the inside of the saw in a second. But what this is showing, if you look at the 120 volts AC, you'll see red and yellow is connected to L1, black and white is connected to L2. Out of the 240 volts, red stays connected to L1, white stays connected to L2, and black and yellow get connected together. So it's a pretty simple rewiring. Green stays on the ground. So let's take a look inside the saw and see if I can show you what this looks like. All right, so I don't know if you can see this. You got your black and your white connected to white. So this black needs to be taken out. Over here, you've got your red and yellow connected to black. This yellow needs to be taken out. So the red will stay connected to the black. The black and yellow and these tie together. The rest of it stays the same. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this rewired. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, and just like that, we're basically done. We've now got the red and black connected over here, the two whites connected over here, and the black and yellow tied together up here. This is such a common um, modification to this saw that not only does Rigid provide the wiring diagram in the inside of the cover, they also provide an extra wire nut or moret right inside here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get some electrical tape wrapped up around these connections just to make sure that they don't, with the vibrations of the motor, you don't wanna just trust the wire nut if it um, comes off and you arc this thing, um, you're gonna have some problems. So better safe than sorry. I'm gonna wrap some electrical tape on here, button this up, and then we'll get started on the switch on the um, the cord modification. All right, so I've got the switch taken apart. Now, what you could do, now that this is wired up for um, 220 inside the, the saw, you could take this, you could cut this end off and rewire this end um, for with the 220 outlet, which is basically two positives and a ground. This cord for me is not long enough. I want to replace this, so that's why I took the whole switch apart so I can pull this completely out and replace it. I'll show you what I got. I picked up some of this 12-3. That means it's 12 gauge and it's got three wires inside. If you look there, you can see it's got a black, a white, and a ground, just like the one that's already on there.
All right, just like that, we've now got the motor wired up for 240 as well as this new power cord hooked up to the switch. Now I've got to figure out how long I want it, cut it off, and put on the end. All right, so that's it for this one. That was a simple project, but it's something I've been wanting to get done for a real long time. Um, my table saw would just, it, it, I was plagued by power issues for years. Um, it would bog down if I used any other tools. So if I used a shop vac as dust collection, uh, because the whole garage was previously on one 15 amp circuit, just wasn't enough juice to run everything. So this is gonna solve a lot of my problems. I'm gonna be able to run my table saw and my new dust collector at the same time since they're on individual circuits now. The table saw is going to have plenty of power because it's now 240 volts vice the 120 it was before. Um, and I've got plenty of power behind me on the wall. The one thing I regret is I went to charge my phone today and realized that I did not put in a single outlet with one of those USB ports. So I still have to use a block charger thing. So I'm going to have to uh, spring, spend the extra money to put a USB outlet out here at some point so I can plug my phone in and charge it because all these... All these videos drains my battery pretty quick. But anyways, like I said, that was a simple project, but something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Thanks for watching.